you host the next tea party. I've got it. Why don't I host the next tea party at my place? Your place? In the Chaos Realm? Oh, great. Let's hop on board for every review of this episode of Theorygraph Discord's Dimension. Uh, Discord, before you go, would you mind helping me tidy up? There you go. Back to normal. Just the way you like it. See you tomorrow! I can't wait! <laughs> so is this a Fluttershy episode or a Discord episode? I can't tell. There's a lot of Fluttershy, that's good. I thought you hated Fluttershy! Where the fuck did you hear that? You have to knock this tea party out of the park for her. She was our first friend, after all. You don't have to tell me that. She gave us a chance when no other pony would. She makes us want to be a better Draconicus. Heh, <laughs> she was his first. Really? You know what? You leave. Send Lizzie back. Oh, singing ginseng. I'll take it. Are you sure you're friends with Fluttershy? You seem so very different from her. So to Rainbow Dash, and they've been gal pals since they were kids. A teapot that just pours tea? How positively dreadful. But that's all teapots are supposed to do. Not anymore. We're going for a more Beauty and the Beast theme, right down to nightmarishly living furniture in China. A sneezing pinata with a pony who jumps if you cough lightly. Great idea! Oh, that's not good enough for Fluttershy. Should I make them fly? Glow fly and, oh, and fold. Glow fly fold into fun shapes, perhaps. And that's about 500 insufferable thing pieces on the reach and scope of Discord's powers. Thanks, DHX! Make Fluttershy feel comfortable. Make Fluttershy feel comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. Well, I mean, that shouldn't be a problem. I think the singing teabags might do it. Then again, Fluttershy reacts to Discord's powers like it's unimpressive at this point, so maybe overthinking things is a good idea. <laughs> Relax. We can fix this. Time to call in the team. Okay, Chief, what's the plan? Step one, summon a facsimile of Fluttershy. Step two, listen to that. We need to make this place more Fluttershy and less, well, me. One thing I know about my dear friend is that she loves comfy chairs. She was excited about seeing your home! Stop doing what you're doing! I think you'll be quite pleased with the green tea I've selected for us today. Ooh, does it actually turn us green? Is it really envious of the other teas? What to do, what to do? Aw, she was so excited for weird tea that's horrified by its own existence. Discord, you don't seem to be yourself today. Are you feeling alright? Whatever do you mean? Well, it's just what you're wearing, and also what you're saying, and also the way you're saying it, and, um, pretty much everything else. That's the problem. You haven't made anything grow a second head or 15 eyes. When you stop committing crimes against nature, that means something's wrong. Have you tried the scones? They're positively delectable. The secret is in the extra butter. What is wrong with you? You're acting so normal, which is not so normal for you. Come on, Discord. Fluttershy wants her kinky boyfriend back. <laughs> the more you do it, the more you fade away. Of course. You're a creature of pure chaos. Being normal is destroying you. And there's another 50 videos on the nature of Discord's biological composition. For fuck's sake, DHX, I'm docking three points for encouraging these people. She's helping. And panicking. She's stress cleaning. <laughs> oh, and Discord would have a special kind of tea, like a ginseng that could really sing. I would. I, I would. <laughs> this is less Discord and more Didney. I was afraid that if you saw exactly how different we are, you wouldn't want to be friends anymore. What? Why would you ever think that? Because you and I don't make sense to any pony else. That may be true, 
but we make sense to me. Besides, have you seen the residents of Ponyville? They're idiots. I promise you, two weeks from now they're gonna be wondering why Fluttershy can't be assertive, despite fixing that problem three fucking years ago. I never would have thought to make singing ginseng before I met you. But you opened me up to so many more possibilities and impossibilities. I never thought I could stretch so far. What's discord without a little chaos? Well, in that case, I certainly don't need to be wearing this. Oops! <laughs> I forgot that I still had this on. And that's 600 jokes about fursuits. You just really determined to ruin my workday, aren't you, DHX? Mm -hmm.